While some people crumble under the weight of adversity, others emerge stronger and wiser. Why? The secret lies in resilience, that remarkable ability to adapt and thrive no matter what life throws your way. But here's the twist. Resilience isn't something you're born with. It's something you can build. And neuroscience is here to show us how. In this video, we'll explore the cutting edge science of resilience. You'll learn how your brain is wired to bounce back, discover the latest breakthroughs in neuroscience, and gain practical tools to turn adversity into opportunity. Resilience isn't about being unbreakable. It's about learning to bend without snapping. It's your ability to adapt, recover, and grow stronger after setbacks. Neuroscience gives us a fascinating window into this process, showing that resilience is as much about biology as it is about mindset. Three key players in your brain's resilience network are, one, the prefrontal cortex, your brain's CEO, responsible for decision-making and emotional regulation. Two, the amygdala, the emotional alarm system that processes stress and fear. Three, the hippocampus, the memory center that helps you learn from past experiences and adapt. When you face challenges, these areas collaborate to assess the threat, manage emotions, and find solutions. Here's the exciting part. Your brain's ability to do this isn't fixed. It can be trained, strengthened, and rewired. This is where neuroplasticity comes in. Your brain's superpower to adapt and rewire itself in response to experiences. Resilience building habits essentially teach your brain to become more adaptable and stress resistant. For example, mindfulness increases gray matter in the hippocampus, exercise boosts neurogenesis, the growth of new neurons, and enhances emotional regulation. Optimistic thinking strengthens connections between the prefrontal cortex and the amygdala, helping you stay calm under pressure. So, how can you apply these insights? Here are five science-backed strategies to build resilience. One, mindfulness meditation. Just 10 minutes a day can lower stress hormones like cortisol and increase activity in the prefrontal cortex. Start small with guided meditations. Two, exercise regularly. Exercise releases brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDN SIF, boosting mental and physical health. Activities like running or yoga are particularly effective. Three, reframe failure. View setbacks as learning opportunities. Train your brain to ask, what's the lesson here? This rewires your mindset for growth. Four, practice gratitude. Gratitude journals can shift your focus from what's wrong to what's right, training your brain to see the positive. Five, strengthen social bonds. Strong connections release oxytocin, reducing stress and providing emotional support. Consistency is key. Resilience isn't built overnight, but small deliberate actions add up. Think of these habits as daily workouts for your brain. Take JK Rowling, for example. Before Harry Potter became a phenomenon, she faced countless rejections and hardships. Her ability to persevere wasn't just luck, it was resilience in action. Stories like hers remind us that resilience isn't about avoiding challenges. It's about transforming them into opportunities for growth. By embracing the science of resilience, you're not just preparing for life's storms, you're learning to dance in the rain. What's a challenge you've faced that made you stronger? Share your story in the comments. And if you found value in this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Until next time, stay strong, stay curious, and stay resilient.